Are you ready to go camping? I think you should stay home. Just let daddy go. Come on, let's go camping. Let's go. Where are we going today? We're going down to southeastern Ohio. Star and I is going to camp at a place that is totally free. And we're going to have a great time. I encourage you all to get out into nature. However it may be, whether you truck camp, car camp, tent camp, RV camp, just get out to nature and get away from it all. There's a tree down big limb down in the middle of the road I'm gonna go ahead and go down here and get it off so it doesn't cause people to go around it every time somebody comes along we aren't in that big a hurry that I can't drag this off the road it looks like this might have came off of somebody's load I can't take it with me but I can get it off the road we can get on with our camping trip. just drifting and fishing on their tubes beautiful beautiful area I encourage everyone to come down here this is called horse run road that I'm turning on and this is taking us into sand hollow campground C you have to stop and register here grab a self registration envelope and you deposit it right in here. She's been good. I'm going to take her for a walk. all them flies come on star let's go away from there come on come on go ahead this way come on we can walk out of our camp like this too if there was somebody next to us we wouldn't be able to oh that breeze feels good i do have the tarp set up so if it rains now at least we're going to have shelter Anyhow, AEP spent millions of dollars reclaiming this land. People really, really threw a fit about strip mining when they started doing it. But you would never, ever know that strip mining went on in this area. Y'all need to really come down and look at it. It's free camping, southern Ohio, southeastern Ohio. I believe it's in Morgan County. And, yeah, 14 days free camping. Well, I didn't want to bore you with the setup of the tarp. But I'll take a walk you around, show you what it looks like now that it's done. 
the tent will go right in that spot right there. I brought the little two-man summer tent. That way if it rains, the tarp will be over us because I do not want to put the rain fly on it. The way it feels right now, I wouldn't care if it did rain on me. I've utilized some bricks, some old bricks I found, and uh, the picnic table, a rock. Yeah, we got plenty of room under there. Like I say, they were calling for hail, possible hail, strong winds, and heavy rain. So. At least we'll be protected under here and we won't have to jump in the truck if it rains. That's what it looks like sitting under here. Got my little table up. Star is in the truck with the air running. It is only 84, but it is very, very humid. And my shirt is soaked. I may have told you that earlier. But yeah, I'm going to take a ride. We're going to take a ride, go through the rest of the campground and see if there's a beach that we can get our feet wet and start and get in the water. Look at this woods I'm in. Listen to it. Isn't that beautiful? This is an actual county road right here. I just passed back into Muskingum County. It's beautiful back here. I thought this was really neat right through here. All these little day lilies. There's campsites all down through here. I probably passed at least 30 open campsites. Like I said though, we was expecting rain today. This is no power, no no uh, water. So folks like their water and their electric. Now I have counted a total of three latrines down through here. Right here is what you see when you first get here. You pull into the campground. All that beautiful sandstone down through there. I would take you further, but there's some people down there fishing. And I don't want to get them on camera. I see it looks like a bass right down there. Or a huge bluegill. Right there. Just lurking, lurking for something to eat. That water is beautiful, beautiful color. These little rabbits are all over down here. Let's see if we can catch anything. Our campsite's right up there. Ooh, the huge night crawler. These are Canadian night crawlers. That's what Walmart says they are. I got a fly bugging me. This thing is as active out there as it is right now. Looks like I might catch me a bass on him. This one here is trying to escape. Let's see what we got here.
I can see that worm trail in that bobber. I don't really want any little ones. Don't want any catfish. I guess I'll take a catfish if I can't catch anything else. That water's really warm. Water's really warm. There's a log down over there. Something hit on it. Wasn't a big bass or it'd have been gone. The water's so clear, I could just see that worm trail in that bobber. All the little bugs that was down here, mostly is gone. Yep, something got half of it, didn't it? Told you. We'll leave her set there a second, see what happens. That dog, she just amuses herself certain little ways. Come on, come on, get in there, get it, get it. When I got here, the flies were pretty bad, but they have subsided. I imagine we might have some mosquito issues when it gets darker, but right now, no. this pan for Star's Beef and Let's see if this lights. Yep, she lit. Get Star's Beef cooked up for her. And I'm not going to cook the fish in the same pan I'm going to cook my breakfast in. I might save half of this for her tomorrow because this is a lot of beef. I like it, but that uh, stove, that's 6,800 BTUs if it's full blast. And I'm going to drink right out of the bottle because I am the only one drinking out of it. I'll try to save most of our water for store. The closest stores like I guess a long way, several miles, maybe as much as 12 or 14 miles. I get her fed. By that time, my I picked up this skinless cod and I've got some zatter reins that I'm going to mix up and dip it in it and fry it in my iron skillet. That ought to be pretty good. It shouldn't take that long to thaw out. I'm 
This beet doesn't have a lot of water in it usually. It makes its own. I didn't put any type of grease or water in here. I'll turn that down a little bit so we'll cook a little slower. Well, I like this little stove. You guys hear that? Here comes the rain. I am glad I set this tarp up. Beef cubes and Caesar. So spoiled. Whew. How y'all been? What are you doing? We're just sitting out here in the rain, aren't we? It feels good. They said it could be heavy today with hail. I got the tarp up. The tent's going under it. As long as it doesn't blow, we'll be okay. We haven't made a video for a couple of weeks. We've kind of missed doing it, haven't we, Star? Yeah. Star, uh, we're trying the Soresto collar on Star. Um, getting away from the next guard. She got to where she did not want to take the next guard. She would uh, put it in her mouth and then she would spit it out. So I think it might have been making her sick because she didn't want it. Now the heart guard, she'll just eat right down. She likes that. But she does not like the next guard for fleeing ticks, do you? So we got the Soresto. It's veterinary recommended. It's a uh, it's supposed to last eight months, but they recommend replacing it at six. We're going to have to get in underneath the tarp. We're going to have to get underneath the tarp. It is getting too rainy out. Let's get under the tarp. When cloudy 80, the watch number 482 remains in effect until 8 p.m. for the following counties in Ohio, Belmont, Carroll, Coshocton, Gamley, Harrison, Jefferson, Monroe, Muskingum, Noble, and Tuscarora Rist. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. Right here is what I'm going to be mixing up. Crispy Southern Fish Fry. Okay, it says we are to pour this out on the plate. Put plenty of it out here. Probably going to have to have some more. It says to cook two pieces at a time. So, I do like my fish dipped in milk. So, I'm going to grab the milk and pour the milk over top of the fish. The milk is good and cold, so... The set power seems to be working like it should. Let's put our fish right there. Didn't take long in this heat to uh, thaw out. Let's pour some milk down in there. At least that's the way I do it when I fry flesh or fresh bluegill or crappie. Make sure 
sure we get the fish coated in the milk really good. It thawed really quick. Probably about an hour and a half it was thawed. So we are supposed to roll the fish in this. Put down up there so you can see okay. One. Boy, it's acting like it was alive. Okay. We'll get our stove going and then we'll get the cast iron over here. I set the cast iron on there and I have put uh, probably a quarter inch of olive oil in that cast iron so we'll let that heat up I don't want to put my fish in before the oil's ready That cod ought to taste pretty good. I have to boil some water for my mac and cheese. Nice and crispy to me. That's a good little stove. It's just not really big like the footprint on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and get that fish off. That's yeah, gonna be pretty good. This is for people that them little cups just don't do much for them. So. There's campsites all down through here. People just came by that had lost their dog. And I think Star and I is going to take a ride and see if we can help them find their dog after I eat. They might have found it by now. Its name was Ben. Well, let's try this out, see if it's any good. I got this table at Walmart. It's aluminum. It should last a while. It won't rust in the elements. You guys know camping stuff gets wet all the time. Let's try the mac and cheese first.
Mmm. Pretty good. I've never had this size. I know a little cup is not enough for me. And I have two packs of cheese, so it's really cheesy. Let's try this fish. Mm. Mm. That is good. That zatter range is mixed really, really good. If it, my wife was eating it, it would be too spicy for her. But uh, I don't really, you can get it non-southern. This is cooked really good. I thought I would try the cod. Because I've gotten cod at restaurants. And I liked it. Mm, I don't know if you can hear that crunch or not. It's gotten really hot again. Really humid. I had to change my first shirt because it was soaked. I had to take my leather hat off because it was entirely too warm for a day like today. Um, yeah, that's really good. I will bring you all back. Uh, I wanted to address, I'm not eating steak, I'm not eating burgers. Uh, I'm getting old, old. I'm getting old. Somebody actually referred to me as elderly the other day. So um, I guess maybe I am elderly. I don't feel elderly, but I'm elderly. That's fine. But I consider myself older. And at this age, you probably got to start eating better. Probably should have started eating better five, ten years ago. I am on cholesterol meds. I've been on cholesterol meds for 25 years. But I'm going to try to cut back the red meat um, and eat fish at least a couple times a week. If you think about it, tomorrow I'm going to have sausage for breakfast. And what did I have this morning? I didn't eat any breakfast. Oh, yeah, I did. Star and I stopped and got fast food on the way down here, but I did have sausage. So I had sausage for breakfast. Didn't have any lunch. We've been too busy. But if I had, say I had sausage for breakfast and a burger for lunch and then a steak for supper, that's red meat three times in one day. So I'm going to try to uh, limit my consumption of red meat. It probably should be once a day at the most. More cereals in the morning, more oatmeal, more cream of wheat. Um, and then I can enjoy some red meat with dinner. And then a couple times a week, I want to have fish. So that's why I'm having fish tonight instead of a big old juicy steak. Star did get her beef cubes, and she likes them. She does like tuna. If I buy her a pouch of tuna and put it on her food, she loves it. So I may bring her some tuna next time we go camping. Who knows? But I know I did got a big tick off of her today. And she was only in the brush about 10 seconds. So I'll bring you all back after I get done eating. I had to put the sleeveless back on. I'll tell you, it is hot. And to be honest with you, me and Star might be sleeping in the truck tonight. I think if we sleep in the truck with the fans, it's going to keep us cooler than the tent because the truck will keep the humidity out and we won't be able to keep the humidity out of a tent. So... I'm just going to sleep in the front seat of the truck and lay it down as far as it goes. I could make a bed in the back, I guess, and try that. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I think we're going to sleep in the truck tonight. It'll be very late. It's 80. It's still 80 degrees, and it's 830 at night, and the humidity makes it feel like it's in the hundreds. So, um, 
star. I have to look out for her. She's a, a thick-coated dog, and she just can't take the heat like some dogs. So I put the tent back in its stuff sack, and we're going to be sleeping in the truck. Just thought I'd let you know, we are going to be taking our nighttime hike. Uh, we're going to drive down here to the trailhead. I have something that uh, I have to try out and see how it does in the woods. And we'll be doing that after it gets dark. But yeah, nighttime hike it's coming up. Moonlight. And if you keep pressing it, there's first setting, second setting, and a third setting, which is 2200 lumens. So... It lights everything up pretty good. I do not have my phone light on. We're going to walk a little ways down this trailhead. This is a very nice flashlight. Now, I will tell you, if you hold your hands, hand in front of the light, it gets really hot. So I don't recommend that, and I don't recommend that you leave it on in your pocket look like there was a cob a spider web right there see it I think you want to run into that look at them colors in that purples huh there's another one right there I'm glad they show up that is really neat. But this is 2200 lumens. It's very, 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 very solid flashlight. That turns it off. Half a second to get the moonlight on. Off. There's moonlight. Two, three. moonlight and it will run for forever on moonlight off there's that's the moonlight that's for tents right there And another feature on this light, as we walk down this path, 10 o'clock at night, you can see it's well lit up. I believe this is part of the Buckeye Trail, so we aren't going to go too far. Left star in the truck. It's a very, very hot night. Very, very hot night. I have heard no coyotes tonight. That is surprising. Now, this is a challenging trail. This is uphill. Almost straight uphill. Strobe. There's off. You would use the strobe if you was in an emergency. And it just keeps going through the different strobes. It's really cool. There's moonlight. That's the one you would use in your tent. If 
you don't need a lot of light, just use the middle one. The battery will last you a lot, a lot longer. It's rechargeable, type C. They send you a nice heavy duty cable with it. And I just noticed that the cable was, you know, kind of heavy duty when I got it. Different than cables you buy with different products. There is some fireworks tonight. Star does not like that. Here's my truck. Yeah. It's a nice little flashlight. My trust fire. Now look, look at what we found here. Isn't this so cool? To come back and find a box turtle. He didn't expect me to be here tonight. He thought all these dummies were in bed, didn't you? You better stay off the road. Well, it is 10 p.m. and the rain is back. I think I'm going to retire to the truck, get me a cold drink, try to cool off a little bit. It's still 80 degrees at 10 p.m. Tomorrow night, it's supposed to get down in the 50s. Imagine that. But I always pick the wrong night. I don't get to choose my schedule, to be honest with you. Soon I'll be able to choose my schedule. We'll see you in the morning. That's what I'm talking about. Old thriller. Here we go. Got a fan there blowing on me. Got a fan right there blowing on Star. Well, everybody, I didn't want to do it. It's the first time ever. It's entirely too hot. Star is gasping. Um, I couldn't sit there with the truck running all night to keep everybody else awake. So, uh, quiet hours, it's 11 to 7. And we tried sleeping in the truck, and we woke up dozing and she was panting so bad and it was hot in the truck and uh, so I just started the truck so she could cool off I got out and packed up it's now about 1 a.m. and we're heading home so we got a good day trip good camp out of it partial camp a good meal but we'll see you all in the next one Remember, never stop dreaming or love others the best you can.